What's up, everyone? This is Tech Trooper 64 and today, Warner Brothers, Rocksteady, and a company with the name of Virtuous, who was previously responsible for the Final Fantasy X and Heavy Rain remasters, has officially confirmed that the Batman Return to Arkham remaster collection has been finally officially confirmed and announced for PS4 and Xbox One. If everybody remembers, at the beginning of March, I made a video regarding to the Batman Return to Arkham Remaster collection that it was leaked, and that it was going to be released July 29th, priced at $49.99 and €39 Euros in Europe and $49 American dollars. The Warner Brothers announcement confirms that the collection comprises of Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City along with all their associated DLC and the Game of the Year edition bonuses, and will be released on PS4 and Xbox One. A trailer was released showing off the game's new looks, alongside with some new Metacritic scores for those respective games. Now, those are, are going to be in the link in the description below if you want to go check out the trailer. It's pretty cool. The announcement also reveals that the studio who will be taking care of it, the previous studio I just named, is Virtuous. Like I said, they're responsible for the Final Fantasy X and Heavy Rain remasters on PS4. And they're moving both games onto a brand spanking new engine, the Unreal Engine 4. Even Rocksteady's new ba game, Batman Arkham Knight, was an Unreal Engine 3 project, not Unreal Engine 4. So this is the first time in the series that the Batman Arkham games is hitting Unreal Engine 4, which is the first time ever. The upgrade will feature improved graphics as well as the upgraded models, the environments, textures, lightings, and effects and shaders. The July 29th release date puts it a week after the digital release of the R-rated Batman The Killing Joke movie, which sees the Arkham games Batman and Joker actors Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill reprise their roles. So yeah, are you guys excited for the Batman Return to Arkham remaster? I personally think that the price is a little bit steep, 50 American dollars, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Batman Return to Arkham remaster. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.